a very good morning to my dear students welcome back to a new session and in this session we are going to study about external genitalia in males so our chapter name is reproduction in human beings in which a topic today's topic is external genitalia in males so my dear student as we all know that external genitalia in males consist of two parts first one is scrotum and the second one is penis as you able to see the structure on your screen that i have drawn i have not drawn the whole structure of male reproductive system i have just drawn the external genitalia so student we have completed scrotum in a previous lecture we have completed scrotum those who have not seen that video please check that video in our playlist in our channel playlist okay so in this session i am going to discuss about the penis i am going to discuss about penis so my dear student as you able to see the structure on your screen that the penis is tubular in structure okay penis is tubular in structure tubular in structure or it's a tubular organ tubular organ what is the function of penis do you know this the function of penis is to introduce its function is to introduce introduce semen into vagina during sexual intercourse during sexual intercourse and this penis is divided into three region this area this area is known as bod um root sorry root and this area this area is known as body of the penis and third region third this area is known as glands of the penis so in penis we have three regions root of the penis body of the penis and glands of the penis so let's study about the glands glands okay glands penis is highly sensitive highly sensitive structure this structure is highly sensitive structure highly sensitive structure 
and remain this glass pane is remains covered by a fold of skin this is remain covered this remains covered it remains covered by a fold of skin fold of skin and this fold of skin is known as this fold of skin is known as foreskin this fold of skin is known as foreskin foreskin covers the penis foreskin cover the penis now let's talk about the root of the penis the root of the penis is fixed portion okay it's a fixed portion fixed portion that attaches the penis that attaches the penis to the body wall root of the penis is a fixed portion that attaches the penis to the body wall means it's a connection okay between the body wall and the penis it provide a connection between the body wall and the penis now let's talk about the body of the penis body of the penis body of the penis is a tubular is a tubular movable portion of the organ means body of the penis is a tubular and it's a movable portion portion of the body of the organ okay and where the fold skin where the fold of the skin is present and that fold of skin is known as foreskin which surrounds the tip of the which surround the tip of the penis foreskin is slightly movable and that skin that skin is slightly movable but but in some cases the foreskin is very tight and it does not move or retract back retract it does not move or does not retract back in that case we use a term femiosis in that case when the uh, when the foreskin does not retract back in that case we use a term femiosis 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 is a term used when the uh, foreskin does not retract back okay during femiosis femiosis urination become very difficult during femiosis urination becomes very difficult urination become very difficult and also lead to 
infection various infections okay in that case circumcision is being done it's a surgical procedure circumcision is a surgical procedure in that case a surgical procedure is being done that is known as circum season circumcision circumcision the circumcision is also a religious practice circumcisions uh, why the circumcisions is being done so circumcision beta circumcision lower the risk of developing the urinary tract infections okay the circumcisions lowers the lowers the urinary tract infection urinary tract infection and hiv infections 